kind of want to continue exploring this area. There's not really... T okay, that's the Stargate room. Down to 36% power right now. Okay, there's another one right there. Now, what do I get? Do these things drop anything? I don't know. Uh, there we go. That thing's destroyed. Uh, I don't... S oh! Where's this? Oh, it's another, uh... Exit. Huh. I'm, s I'm, I'm definitely hearing, like... Oh, so it was like light things moving. Whatever, I'm going near them. That's kind of stupid. <laughs> okay, so that's an entrance. The other one's an entrance as well. Where does this take me, then? It takes me to some downstairs area. Maybe there's some more technology-type stuff down here, huh? Speaking of technology, there's another robo-fellow. Oh! And that seems like an... Oh, another ion cube there. I guess I'll grab that. And this is... Oh my gosh, there's a bunch of, like, energy stuff in there. Ooh, I wonder if I can recharge my prawn suit in there. Pick up the ion cube. This is a uh, data terminal. Integrating new PDA data. Fossil data there. We do need to go back to the Cyclops to go grab another purple tablet to go into this room, though, you guys. So, need to go back to the Cyclops to go make another uh, blue... Because apparently we need two of them. We need uh, blue tablets. How do we make the blue ones and how do we make the purple ones? Just in case we don't have enough purple ones. So, the blue one is, yeah, two kyanite, one ion cube. Two di or, yeah, two diamonds, one ion cube for purple and... Two Neko Orin, one I. I think we should be able to afford making any cubes or any uh any any tablet. Cause diamonds, nickel, and kyanite are all very common down here, you guys. Especially with those like giant uh like deposits of nickel and uh, I don't think there's like a giant thing of diamond. Maybe there is, and I just haven't found one yet. And of course, kyanite. The only way we find them are the giant deposits. So shouldn't be too hard to find those. Should be able to. F Didn't I see one like in this room or something like that? I feel like I have, but I do need to head back at least to the Cyclops, you guys. We may have enough power to go back without replacing our man. Um, I'm just oh, when the rod I just got an achievement for thermal activity, even though I've been here for who knows how long. <laughs> I wonder how many other achievements I should have gotten but haven't gotten. So, yeah, that's kind of interesting. It has multiple like entrance ways into there. Now, if we do want to come back... Oh, there it is right there. There's some kyanite I can grab. Hopefully, I can grab it, right? Uh, okay, it's just one. Hold on, that's just one singular piece of kyanite. Can I pick... Yes, I can. I can just pick that up, no problem. All right, so it does seem like kyanite is available in singular... Like, crystal structure type things. There's another... That's an alien egg. I don't know what that egg is, but I guess I'll grab it because you guys want me to grab these critter eggs. But there you go, grab that. So now we have enough kyanite to make... One blue tablet. I think all we need is just one extra blue tablet on top of the one that we just grabbed. There's some more kyanite there I can literally grab with my hands. Let me just hit this thing like once or twice to deter it away. There we go. We're good. Kind of want to go grab some more of these things while I can. Kind of want to... Man, at the same time, I, I, I kind of want to switch out to the the regular arm. Ooh, ooh, this is dangerous here, you guys. Whoa. Now we are, we do need to remember, we are literally underwater. So we can just kind of swim down to that and grab it. The volcanic rock, which has formed in this area, can be carbon dated to between 800 and 3,000 Earth years ago. Ugh, who uses Earth years for time? <laughs> Stupid, completely irrelevant on the other side of the galaxy. Or maybe we're in a different galaxy. I don't know. Well, I think we are in a different galaxy. They mentioned something called the Ariadne arm or something like that, and I don't think that's an arm in the... Maybe it is an arm in the Milky Way. I just haven't heard of it, at least. There's, like, the Orion arm. There's, like, uh, some other arms I can't remember because heck, and Orion's the easiest one to remember. Because <laughs> isn't that the one that we're in? The Orion arm or something like that? I think so. But uh, either way, I'm just kind of memeing right now. We do need to find our way out of here. I don't know the way, so I need to... Oh, that thing's throwing bombs at me, huh? Ba bombs Man! Yeah, I, I, I guess we're heading upwards, huh? Because we I remember coming in through a cave entrance. And we were going downwards quite a lot, so I think we just need to head, like, up, right? Was this taking me outside now? Yes, it is. Okay, that's good. Anyways, there's this critter again. Deter him away. I think he's good. I think he's... Yes, he's run away. Yeah, run back to your mommy. Anyways, let's scan this thing, even though we already have tons of kyanite already. But there we go. Let's just scan it, just because why not? But yeah, definitely need to come back to this area where we're seeing ancient alien technology, ancient alien structures. But, uh, we can either come back here or... More kyanite right there, that's nice. 
either come back here or go down to that other area, the containment facility or whatever that's called. Oh man, I really need to pay attention to the compass at the very top, you guys. Because uh, I should have seen like which direction we were going, what if we first came into here and all that kind of stuff, but at least I know that there's like a giant volcano or something there in the middle. Oh, jeez, there's that thing. Okay, I need to watch out for that, you guys. Oh my gosh. Let's go. Oh, wrong thing. Grab arm. Grab on. Go. No, 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 no. Oh, jeez. That thing is like pushing me. Oh my gosh. Holy. We're taking damage. We're taking damage. I really need to repair. Not really like the biggest deal in the universe repairing this thing right now, but this thing is down to 68% durability or something. Really, really, really pushing it here, you guys. Let's go into a relatively safe area. Here we go. Nice little cubby hole right here. Nice. <laughs> Let's go to the repair gun. All right, we're already at like 80 to 70 something right there. There we go, 78, 80, that's good. I don't want to repair, or uh, I don't want to enter prawn. I don't know why I keep saying that. There we go, 81%. It's still, there we go, 83. Oh, sheesh, there's it's like tentacles. Okay, I really want to get inside, so I know I could die. I, I do need to drink some water too. But I may just kind of put that off for a sec. Unless I really, like, I'm literally dying. I'll put that off for a sec. And then eat some stuff. Eat some marble melons. Eat some bulbo tree. Drink a billion gallons of coffee back in my Cyclops. Just so I can sustain the water bottles I already have, you know? Because I do not want to waste those. They're very valuable. They do not spoil. They contain lots of water. Oh, warpers around here, though. I do need to pause the recording here. Uh, there's the... I guess I go. I'm like, because eh, we keep. I know, I know, I know. It flew it and take. Because we're like, oh god, there's another one right there. I guess I'm going this way because that is where the Cyclops is. So I assume, you know, heading towards the Cyclops is always a good idea, right? <laughs> Whenever you're trying to head towards the Cyclops and all that kind of stuff, aren't taking a little bit of damage from the. Oh, oh hold on. What's this? Is this diamond? What is this? That is lead. Okay, I do not need that for anything right now. We need nickel and we need diamond to make the other tablets. But I think up there, that is the general direction of our Cyclops, so I'm just going to head this way and... <laughs> oh, oh! There's a skeleton! Yeah, oh my gosh! Okay, well, at least... Oh! Yeah, more... Oh, and there's another skeleton there, though. Okay, that must be like a ghost leviathan skeleton, or... Oh, sheesh, warpers. Either ghost leviathan or some other thing. Oh, man, I can't remember the name of the other one. Oh, the dragon thing is getting real close, though. Man, am I glad I repaired. Oh, my gosh. This thing doesn't have that good a range, though. Come on. Come on, grab me in. There we go. Noish. Okay. Okay, I'm kind of stuck on this ledge. And there we go. Okay. Whew. Thankfully, that thing is not hecking come out of a coming over here. But I think this way. This has got to be where we've got to go, right? I'm like, that is the general direction of the Cyclops and everything, so... Hopefully I can find my fucking way out of here, you guys! Alright, you guys. I think I've found my way out. Here's the... Here's where we mined our first piece of kyanite, I think. Or at least... Mined it. Didn't collect any kyanite. <laughs> but I think this way is... Yes. Yes, finally. Okay, which way is this? This is... Heading west. Okay, so heading west... That is our way out. Now, whenever I come back, I think I'm going to... Seek fluid intake immediately. Okay, okay. Am I taking... I don't know if I'm taking health damage right now, but... I may drink a thing of water just because I'm almost dead. Or... <laughs> because my water's so low, I'm going to start taking damage some sometime soon, but... I think what I'm going to do is, whenever I go back to the Cyclops, I'm going to go take it to the quarantine enforcement platform. Park it over there. And then, of course, instead of going through all this trash again, we'll just teleport through the little wormhole thing to that facility over there. And then, of course, it'll be basically be like a shortcut. I'll have to go through all this trash all the time, and of course, it'd be an easier, faster way back to the Cyclops, and of course, therefore, going back home if I ever need to. So definitely, definitely a good thing that we activated that thing over there, that gateway, that alien arch. That's what it's called, alien arch. Good thing we activated that thing. That's good. But either way, I'm going to pause the recording. Hopefully, this 15% power is enough to take me back to my Cyclops without having to use the other battery, but of course, if I do need any extra power, thankfully, I brought an extra power cell, so if I do run out of power, I'm not going to be, like, stuck here or anything like that, so that's good, but I'm going to pause the recording, head back to the Cyclops, and I'll see you guys over at the quarantine enforcement platform. Alright, guys, back. I'm over here at the alien container, or the quarantine enforcement platform. You can see it right there. That is the building. There's some warpers over there. 
And down here, I believe... Here we go, here's a bottom cam. I think down there... That might be the... No, down there, down there. That's the underwater Stargate I was talking about, so... Anyways, over here, I remember there was like a moon pool type meme <laughs> that we could probably park inside of, so... See, oh, there it is right there. All the way down there, okay. See if we could actually maneuver this submarine into that... I don't know if this is... Actually, I think we're good right here, okay. This might be a tight squeeze. But, uh, oh, I need to go up a little bit. Oh, man. Oh, I think we're good on top. On bottom seems good as well. Just need to park it in here. Oh, my gosh. I think we're doing it, you guys. Holy heck. Is it deep enough, though? Hold on. I think it might be. Ooh, it narrows there, though. Narrows there. Ooh, we're doing well here. Look at this professional Cyclops Parker. All right. I can probably, uh... Hold on. Can I take this upwards and it won't hit anything? Uh... I think... Ooh. Look at this, you guys. This is too big of a coincidence. This is completely intentional, huh? Like, come on. There is no... Uh, there's no way around it. Like, that is... Man, that thing is taking a bunch of power. I do know that... <laughs> there's the horn. I do know that uh, some of you guys are saying, hey... Oh, why is it... Yeah, I don't know what's going on with the water now. <laughs> it's like flooding inside the ship, even though it's completely... Well, it's up to, like, maybe my waist or my chest or something right now. I don't know what's going on. It's kind of crazy. But anyways, uh, the power is down a lot. I think that's because you guys are saying, hey, it's, it's like recharging the SCV that's, you know, using some power there. So that kind of explains it. I did already make... Oh, and speaking of power, it made it to the Cyclops with only 4% power left. So, <laughs> man, that was really close there. I did make the other blue tablet, by the way. So now we have two. I did bring both of my purple tablets as well as still have the orange tablet in my inventory, you know, just in case we ever need any of that. You know, at least we have it. I did have to use a water bottle, though, so that's kind of unfortunate. But I guess for right now, I, I did also eat some bulbo trees just to kind of, you know, get my sustenance up and whatnot. So let's try and get our sustenance up as much as we can right before we leave. We do still have, like, water bottles and energy bars and stuff like that. So if we do need any sort of, like, food or water, we're still pretty prepared. It might be kind of a tight squeeze out of here, though. And then through the... Through the Stargate. Might want to re-maneuver the, uh... Oh, oh! There we go. Is this good? I might need to... Can I... I don't know if I can get out of this, you guys. <laughs> oh, man. Hold on. Let's see. And maybe just to force on me... Oh, there we go! Golly, that's how you do it, man! Alright, well, I think it's this... Um... Where's the portal room? It might be on the other side. Oh, is that it? I think it is. If it is, then that's good. We're starting to learn our way. Yes, it is. Okay. Now we're actually starting to learn our way around here. Let me just make sure. We do have the blue tablets. We do have the purple tablet to go into the facility over here. That's good. I think we have everything, you guys. All right. Well, using these portals to just kind of traverse hundreds of meters away. Maybe thousands, actually. So now we're over here. That's good. So now we should be able to go to the bottom part of this. Yes. And if we ever need to, like, recharge this thing, and it's going to be, like, a million times easier to go back home as well. Because we don't need to go through, like, underwater caves and all that kind of trash, so that's good. So, I'm genuinely liking this whole setup we've got going on with this new location. Purple tablet, insert the purple tablet, and open the door! Or at least release the force field. And now we're going inside. Oh yeah, we have some things to read about, uh, it looks like two, uh... Can I go in this thing? Is it, is it going to shock me? I think we're fine. I think this is data download, data terminal. Integrating new PDA data. Primary alien facility location updated. Volcanic area connected to this cave system at depth 1.4 kilometers. Yeah, we were just there moments ago. Integrating new PDA data. Oh, sheesh, yeah, we can scan this whole thing. Synthesizing ion power blueprints from alien data. Blueprints stored to data bank. That's good, that's good. Let me continue. There you go. Alien thermal plant. Now we have that thing scanned. A few things for us to read about here, you guys. We have like two or three data downloads. And we have the, uh, this whole thing we need to read as well. Is there anything else here? Anything in this back bit? What is this? Seems like some sort of door there, maybe, but... I guess this thing is like producing power... 
for the ancient aliens that uh, use whatever's going on down here. Apparently, it's converting thermal energy into whatever energy this is. So that's interesting stuff. I think that has like an ion cube or something on it, so we no longer need that trash. Now, I kind of want to just hang out maybe in here for just a moment. Though, while we read those data downloads and whatever else that we're going to be reading about, because it is a relatively safe area, right? So might as well. And we're not even too far away from that other location, too. So no real need to be in some sort of a rush. But we did get a couple blueprints from stuff. Uh, ion battery. Oh, so now I can make ion battery and I can make an ion power cell now. Huh. So that's good. Oh, yeah, we got that just now from scanning the, uh, I don't, I don't know if it was scan. Oh, yeah, it was the, the second data download at the very top showing you how you craft the ion battery, which is ion cube, gold, and silver ore. I don't, I think, I, I have a feeling ion cubes are relatively finite, so might want to be careful with that. But ion power cell, that might be really good to have in our prawn too, you guys. I assume this is going to be five times more energy than we currently have right now. So like 5,000 or so uh, charge or something, I don't know. Uh, something like that, I don't know. I don't know what the regular, I guess I could look, right? No, I didn't say. But uh, two batteries and silicon rubber. So basically, yeah, the same recipe, but of course, ion battery in place of regular batteries. And to make an ion battery, you just need ion cube, gold, and silver. So that's going to be good. We're going to need some of that as well as the silicon rubber to make that stuff. Oh yeah, there's lots of other stuff we need to read about too. Thermal power plant, that's new, so might as well read about it. I think that's the place that we're at right now that we just scanned just moments ago, so let's read. Alien thermal plant. This system is directly converting local thermal energy into electric current at a 90% efficiency. Wow, that is really good. Most of this energy is being stored in the battery-like devices within the plant itself, each of which holds enough to power a small city for a year. Wow. Some of it, however, is being drained off, presumably as it is distributed to other facilities on this planet. The power plant appears to be fully automated and given current understanding of the mechanisms involved, uninterruptible. Mmm, interesting stuff. So it's transferring power to the other alien, like, facilities around here, explaining why those are, like, still up and running millions of years later, thousands of years, thousands of years ago. Resource dive suit, we already know about that, but, uh, there's a couple points we could read right there. Shock absorption reduces physical impact velocity by approximately 50%, really nice. Rated for temperatures up to 70 degrees, I assume that's Celsius. Disclaimer, you're not invulnerable while wearing this suit, so, you know, we're not basically playing God here whenever we're wearing that, we're not like immune to death or anything like that <laughs> but up to 70 degrees that's interesting because we hit like 60 something down in the uh in that other area right so that's that's getting real close down there anyways bacterial infection report i thought we already read about this stuff but i guess not huh you've been infected with a previously unknown waterborne bacterium it is currently multiplying in your bloodstream estimated incubation time two weeks Ooh, your immune system is currently combating the infection at low efficiency you may already be experiencing flu-like symptoms and skin irritation these will likely be exasperated as the bacterium takes hold your immediate priority should should be abatement and eradication of the infection. Recommended steps. Salvage further alien research data on a possible vaccine. Investigate the mechanisms which have enabled the indigenous ecosystem to inhibit the symptoms of the infections. Yeah, we're already onto that a little bit right there. Sea dragon egg. I think that's the critter. Yeah, sea dragon. That's the critter I'm talking about. Calling it a dragon. This large egg is, uh, yeah, we already read about that. Is there anything else here to read? Right off the bat. Uh, terminal data. Yeah, we do have a few terminals, I guess. Or data downloads or whatever here to read fossil data fossil data recorded from the volcanic rock that was excavated to construct the alien power facility it has been possible to extrapolate a number of key trends genetic divergence the aliens recorded data on indigenous organic remains originating between 10,000 and 1,000 years ago the life forms on record feature an unusually low overlap with those encountered so far on 4546b mm. so possible alien critters themselves or something. I don't know. Or maybe like completely like evolved on their own, like exclusive from like all the other critters or something. I don't know. Extinction event. Soil samples from a thousand years ago contain 300% higher concentrations of organism remains than the soil average. Data supports a mass extinction event killing off a majority of species and forcing rapid adaptation amongst 
many of the survivors. Ooh, so this extinction event maybe has something to do with like the giant volcano meme that's going on around here, or maybe a giant meteor I can hit, and that's what caused the giant crater sort of thing. I don't know. Very interesting stuff here, though, you guys. Wow. Ion power data. It has been possible to extract useful information regarding alien ion power. Ion cubes are grown artificially from a mineral substance and are treated to remain in a stable state, despite the huge ionic energy contained within. Hmm. By installing an ion cube in an appropriate device, this energy can be released as electrical power. Using this knowledge, it has been possible to synthesize new battery and power cell blueprints which leverage advanced ionic energy to last considerably longer. Yeah, I do have an ion uh, ion battery in my sea glide right now. You can see it's up to 500% charge or 500 charge in general. So that's really a very awesome primary containment facility is going to give us a little bit of information about this i assume because we did have a little bit of like information about it earlier on but it was like corrupted or something like that right so let's read about this real quick because of course we're about to go there here in just a moment so might as well figure out what we're going to right primary containment facility a power router in the thermal plant is distributing energy collected on site to other facilities on this planet primary containment facility location updated constructed within a natural chasm yep we know about that Connected to this cave network. Yep, we know about that. South, southeast. I wasn't really paying attention, but I assume that's correct. <laughs> a rare or area. A rare area? What in the world? Area of volcanic activity. Depth of 1.4 kilometers. I think it was like 1.3 ish, but you know, I'll give them, I'll give them a little bit of leeway, right? Power distribution. Self warping. Quarantine enforcement units. 5%. So those are the warpers. Arch network. 10%. Sanctuaries. Alpha, beta, kappa. 10%. Quarantine enforcement platform. 35%. Wow. So this. Like, like that gun that's like shooting off like, you know, the Aurora, uh, presumably the Aurora got shot. But I guess just because of how huge it was, you know, some of it somewhat survived in a giant chunk. But the Aurora, the Sunbeam, and the, uh, I can't think of the name of it, the, the Gazi. Yeah, that's the other ship that I assume also got shot down. Disease Research Facility offline. Yeah, that thing got completely ransacked whenever whatever was inside of it and basically destroyed it from the inside out, right? Primary containment containment facility 20 percent and reserve 20 percent i assume that reserve is what was going to the disease research facility let's do a little bit of quick math right here so 5 plus 10 that's 15 plus 10 that's 25 plus 35 that's going to take it to 60 plus 20 that's going to take it to 80 and then another 20 in reserve that's 100 percent so i assume that reserve once went to disease research facility but because that's offline it's being uh, like routed to reserve, I guess, like backup power, I assume. So very interesting stuff right there. Learning about how the power is being distributed from the thermal power plant or whatever it was called, right? There's no clear way to interrupt the power flow. Hmm. Don't know if I'd want to, but hey, what are you going to do, right? Kyanite. Oh, I guess I can read about this. Kyanite is a blue silicate mineral which forms under high temperature, high pressure conditions. It is resistant to heat up to 1100 degrees Celsius. Wow. And it's thermoelectric, making it a valuable component of thermal power plants. Assessment. Essential for advanced fabrication. I assume we need this for the... Let's look at the Cyclops thing. Let's see. What did we need for the Cyclops uh, thermal... Uh, where was that? Engine efficiency module. Uh, we can get... Oh, yeah. Polyaniline. We need that uh, deep shroom stuff for that polyaniline, I think. Right? So, definitely going to look into that. But power chip polyaniline recycles heat byproduct to minimize power inefficiency. Seamoth and prawn compatible. That's something we can give to the prawn suit to use, use less energy. But I assume we can... How did how do we make the, uh, the ion battery again? I kind of want to give the uh, prawn suit an ion power cell. Of course, that does require two ion batteries to craft in and of itself. So it's going to be very... There it is right there. Ion power cell. So gold and silver uh, alongside the ion cubes. So that shouldn't be too hard. We've seen gold deposits. We've seen silver deposits. So if we ever see any silver and gold, etc., etc., I think we saw some gold down there, right? So might want to keep our eyes peeled for... Uh, I think there's even silver in this area too, right? There's some kyanite right there. Don't think I want to grab that trash. But let's try and find our way out of here though. Over here, yeah, I remember the waterfall or the lava fall or whatever you want to call it. I remember this thing, yeah. So let's go over here. This is where our uh, like way out is. So let's go over here. And if we find any silver, let's definitely mine some of it. I think we saw some silver here somewhere. Don't know if it was in this area or in that room so if you find silver of course we do want that alongside some gold and then we can of course give our 
Prawn suit, and I guess also our Cyclops, because of course the Cyclops uses power cells as its batteries and stuff, so or like power storage and stuff. So if we can get the Cyclops to get like exclusively power cells, then that thing is never ever gonna need any power. And it's gonna be able to like like recharge the uh prawn suit like millions of times too. It's gonna be crazy. So definitely want to think about that, you know, given the uh Cyclops some of those ion power cells but of course that's gonna each one requires two power or two ion cubes we only have like maybe 12 right now maybe a little bit less since i just used one to make a blue uh thing so if we can if you use two to make one uh ion power cell oh is it silver it is okay let's grab some of this that means we can only make six, which I think the Cyclops uses six. You know, at least for now. We may find more ion cubes in the future. There we go, adding some silver ore. That's good. Let's try, let's stay very close to this. So hopefully we actually no. Oh, there we go. So hopefully we actually pick this stuff up whenever it's getting mined, and I'll like you know make it fly halfway across the map and stuff like that, right? <laughs> so let's grab as much of this silver as we can, as well as any potential gold. I don't think we can. I don't think we can mine them whenever we're just like <laughs> floating in midair like that, right? So let's stay like right on top of it or so. There we go, picking up some of that stuff. And of course the same whenever we find any gold. And of course we still need some of that silicon like rubber or whatever that stuff is, right? So still need some of that. And I think we need that from like those uh, those like creep vines or something like that, right? Or creep seed clusters or something like that. I, I forget what you need that for. Oh yeah, creep seed cluster that gives you... Oh man, look at all that silver ore. We get noise. That gives you, uh, what's it called? Lubricant. So, I think the creep finds himself, I, I think that gives you the uh, silicon rubber that you actually need, right? So, man, look at all that we got right there. Golly, I'm not complaining one bit. Anyways, let's see. Where is the Cyclops? Oh, man, yeah, I forgot that we put the Cyclops in a different area. Yeah, I can't use that to navigate around, so that's unfortunate, but just trying to recharge our jump. There we go. Let's just kind of jump down. Hopefully we'll be able to find that gigantic little crater or whatever that thing was. And of course find our way into that new area. And also try and avoid that sea, what is it called again? Sea Dragon Leviathan, I think it's the technical name of it. Hearing it, I'm hearing it right now. Definitely want to watch out. But there's a Skelefella right there. I think we might need to go this way, so. <gasps> there it is, there it is, there it is. Um, is this it? I think this might, I think this might be it. I think this is it. Okay. Or may, okay, no, I think this isn't the one I was thinking about, but this is one in general. I think this is the one that we came out of, right? So multiple pathways to the same area. Not a big deal if we're not taking the same path we took the first time, but we're going to get there no matter what. So let's just continue onwards. Maybe use one of these little fellas as a, there we go. Grapple onto him. <laughs> I love that. That was a good meme. Oh, there's warpers and stuff behind me, though. Warping in those little critters that throw bombs at you. <laughs> Anyways, there it is right there. There's the sea dragon leviathan down here. Need to watch out for him. And now there is our way in. We do need one blue tablet. And that is what they're called, by the way. They, they are blue. Because there's blue, there's orange, and there's purple tablets. I don't think there's any other colors just from my mineral research I just did moments ago, but... It is a blue tablet, but we do need one to open up this door, and then, of course, another one, apparently a little bit deeper in, so... Let's just go in, maybe use our, uh... See if we could use this to <laughs> help us out a little bit now. I don't think that's open. God, man. Whatever. Let's just go. We are only we only used 11% power right there. Nice. So that's good. Not using too much, and remember, 70, uh, 70 degrees Celsius right now, that is the limit of our current reinforced dive suit, so... 71, I think we start taking damage. All right, now we're in here. Now we need to activate this. Insert tablet, insert the blue, yes! And ba-boom, you guys. Force field control. Welcome the board, Captain. And the force field is down. It looks like an ion cube or something up there. Of course, I do want to grab some. Oh, whoa! Things are happening, you guys. Whew. This is a pretty cool. Oh, wow, look at this room. Translating local alien broadcast. Warning, vaccine development program terminated. Emperor A, fetching project terminated. Live specimens terminated. Evacuate immediately. 
Oh, evacuate immediately. I'm like, oh, I think we might need the other one for that right there. But Ion Cube Fabricator. I wonder if we could remake this. I doubt it. I doubt it. But there we go. I, I guess we could always come back to these things and, you know, mine more of it over time, maybe, but... Okay, there we go. We're mining it. That's good. I do want to mine it and, you know, get more of this Ion Cube. It does seem somewhat mined already. Am I even getting any from this? Oh, there we go. Oh, we got like... Oh, two right there. Ah, not bad. Not bad. Not complaining. Hopefully we get a couple more from that. Oh, there we go. That's... Oh, there we go. Three. Yeah, like I said, it seemed like it was already somewhat mined already, so... Uh-oh. Oh! Whoa, 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 whoa. Is this... I think it's fabricating even more ion cubes, you guys. So I guess maybe I wait a little bit. And it'll fabricate even more. Can I scan this now again? I don't know. I, I feel like I want to come back here a little bit later. Oh, there's that thing. Definitely want to watch out, you guys. Oh, little uh, alien fella. Yeah, they're supposed to, like, not harm you. They're supposed to be, like, patrol fellows, right? But that, that, that one did attack me that one time, so I do want to keep my eyes peeled. There's a doomsday device. Alien technology. Oh, wait, that must be something else then, huh? Scan it. Scan it. It's going to be a lot of stuff for us to read about. Oh, translation device. Now, these alien object seems like a heckin' artifact out of Ark. Let's scan it anyways. Alien building block. Crescent artifact. Looks like some sort of moon boomerang. Tracking implant. Ooh. Unusual box. Let's see what this says. Organic matter particulate or whatever that means. Empty case. I assume that's going to be used a little bit later on. Nanobots. Ooh, gave us some information about nanobots. So it wasn't empty at all. It was actually containing small little nano critters. Anyways, these little speed of critters. Robo fellows. I really want to be careful of them. Seems like more new artifacts over here. Rudimentary tablet. Let's see what it says about this. There it is right there. Rudimentary tablet. Ancient blade. So it seems like even ancient aliens had similar weapons to us. Melee weapon. Oh, ancient earth blade. Whoa, so these aliens stole something from earth. And I assume these other artifacts are... Artifacts, artifacts from, it looks like a yin-yang sort of meme right there. Whoa, it's kind of crazy. Makes you think that maybe the Japanese or whoever got that idea from ancient aliens. Circular object, yeah, UFO right here. Alien statue right there we just scanned. Holographic projector, huh. So I'm very interested to see how our scanner is even able to interpret these things. It's kind of interesting in, in and of itself. Either way, we do have some... Little rooms over here I do want to explore. Another Robo fellow there. Is this another, uh... Yep, mm-hmm. And it is an entry one where we put an ion cube here. I wonder where it tip. Wait, do I have an eye? Oh, I don't have any on me. Oh, I need to go back to the, uh, to the bronze suit. Okay, whatever. I was wondering why it wouldn't let me, uh... I activate that, but yeah, we need to go grab a, uh, oh, a little bit of fall damage right there. Not too big of a deal. Do need to drink some water and stuff here in a bit, but thankfully, that is going to teleport us somewhere, and hopefully, it'll be closer to either our home base, or uh, it might take us, like, to the outside of the, because remember, that is an entry one. So, uh, should I? Yeah, let's drink some, uh, there you go, large filtered water. That's nice. Don't want to eat until I have to, because, of course, the food does give us a lot of food, right? So, hold on, how much did that give us? 75? Yeah, 47? Uh, so I don't want to use it until I'm at least like 25-ish, right? So let's grab an ion cube from this. There we go, grab that. And let's go see if we can activate this thing. What is that? Oh, sheesh. Wait, is that the blue one? Or Yeah, it is another blue one. Okay. Let's see? Can't really see anything in there right now, though. Let's go activate the other thing. I don't know if I'm actually faster. Oh, wow, yeah, look at that, you guys. It, it, it made some more ion cubes. Yeah, just like... A, I don't know if the one that we saw in the other location... I don't know if that's, like, continually producing these things, right? I don't know if it is, but this one seems to be, though. So that's very interesting. I wonder why it's producing these. So I'm, like, I'm not complaining, but now we might actually be able to, you know, make... Ion batteries and ion power cells and stuff for all of our devices. Because, of course, it just needs a little bit of gold and silicon rubber and stuff now, and we'll be good to go.